I'm fitting the score next. My chair is all net, me and Jay, it's just all next. Getting back on defense, hit him with strong flex. I'm official like a ref, trying not to get it attack. Can we go hard on Brooklyn? That's a promise. Watch me like a cam, cause it's my time. Make you watch me like a cam, cause it's my time. Switch, they can't guard me, especially side the Barclays. It's been twin crosses, so I can score with both hands. Many flawless, and I get to paint like an artist. I'm a ball smith, so you should respect my handle. I see the big picture with the nets like a mantle. In the future, I see us in Shamsu. And when we do, I'ma do a Brooklyn dance move. The stir that whole Millie rock like a fan do. And that's a bet like my parlay on fan do. B R O O K L Y N. B R O O K L Y N. B R O O K L Y N. choice every day what that looks like for you being steadfast keeping your nerves don't lose your shit with this group being tougher as a group A promise. Watch me like a cam, cause it's my time. Make you watch me like a cam, cause it's my time. Switch, they can't guard me, especially side the Barclays. It's been twin crosses, so I can score with both hands. Many flawless, and I get to paint like an artist. I'm a ball smith, so you should respect my handle. I see the big picture with the nets like a mantle. In the future, I see us as Shamsu. And when we do, I'ma do a Brooklyn dance move. The stir that whole Millie rock like a fan do. That's a bet like my parlay on FanDuel. B-R-O-O-K-L-Y-N. B-R-O-O-K-L-Y-N. choice every day what that looks like for you being steadfast keeping your nerves don't lose your shit with this group being tougher as a group yo <clears throat> yo 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 what is good yo it's a lot going on man you got brawny entering the draft you got earthquakes in new york city and new jersey all over you got j cole responding to k dot which awnc let us know what was going on last night. We recapped it towards the end. I was about to close out. We recapped it towards the end. But today, we're going to really recap it. We're going to bring up the lyrics to both songs. We're going to really see if J. Cole addressed uh, 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 K-Dot. We really going to get into it. You know what I'm saying? I need y'all to share the stream, like, comment, subscribe. Um, but we definitely going to get into it. Um, well, listen, the first of... First order of business, uh, the Nets versus Pistons precap. Both of this, both of this doesn't mean a lot for 
this does this this game doesn't help any team reach the play in or the playoffs. I won't say it's a throwaway game. Somebody like somebody like a player like Cam Thomas, who I imagine who cares about his points. I heard him in an interview say, Oh, you know, the only reason why I averaged 23 and a half points in college is because I got injured one game. But if I didn't, I would have averaged 25 points per game. So look for Cam Thomas to put up a lot of points in these next these last few games. Uh, hopefully we get the win. You know what I mean? I don't know how it turns out, but I'm gonna be here to recap it anyways. But the game ain't until tomorrow, so you know that's that. Um, but the earthquake, bruh. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I definitely want to hear everybody' thoughts about the earthquake. We're gonna start with the earthquake first, and then we're gonna get to everything else. I did not feel the earthquake. I was moving around. I was in traffic. I went somewhere. I took the bus. I I I was on the bus. I, I I didn't even notice it. I didn't even feel it. I didn't even know it was an earthquake up until I got home and then my I seen you know I seen the the block. I seen guys on the block and it was like yo you felt that. I'm like felt what? You know what I mean? They were like yo an earthquake. I'm like an earthquake. And then they said it was a four point eight. Like what? A big earthquake? I felt absolutely nothing, bro. I didn't feel shit. But that being said, shout out to everybody who did. And there was no incidents. There was no injuries. There was no, I didn't hear any, no, I didn't hear about anyone getting hurt. I didn't hear about any property damage. So that's good. I want to give a shout out to the fans in the chat. Shout to Claude Smith. Shout to Brock Work. Shout to Iceman. Shout to JP Farley. Shout to uh, uh, Leaf. Um, shout to all y'all, man. Um, Claude Smith, he says, the beef between Kendrick Lamar and Drake and J. Cole is childish. I think it's just a marketing tool. I think it helps hip-hop, honestly, Claude Smith, and I do think it is a marketing tool. I'll give you that. You know what I mean? We know controversy sells. It's going to be a lot of picking sides. It's going to be a lot of picking part of verse to see who said what and when they said it, how they said it, who they said it to. It's going to be a lot of that. I'm looking forward to it. I'm a fan of the battle rap culture. This is giving me that kind of energy where they battling. I'm I'm looking forward to it. I'm here for it. Holla back, K-Dot. It's Friday. When will K Dot respond? We'll get into that. Um, Claude Smith, he also says, I like to see who show up considering we got eliminated from the playing tournament. Let's say Claude Smith, a lot of fans ain't gonna be as tough as you are, as great as you are. You're part of the reason why I say Nets fans is the best fans. You are someone who always been a Nets fan to my knowledge, and your confidence or your fanhood doesn't waver. You, you continue to be a fan, and that's one of the reasons why I got love for Claude Smith. He always in the chat giving good content, putting in dope comments, always on point with his takes. I don't always agree with his takes, but he's he's a great Nets fan, and part of the reason why I say Nets fans are the best fans. You got Brock Work in the building. What up, Brock Work throwing up the colors? You got Iceman Eskimo in the building. He say, yo, you know I'm finna throw the link in the chat so we could kick it. Um, um, you got JP Farley says that earthquake scared the shit out of me. Yo, listen, bro, I ain't even mad at you. I, I would have been scared too, but what was your experience? Why did it scare you? Where were you when it happened? You know, wh- like, why were you scared? Like, wh- what exactly happened, you know, for you to be scared? I would love to hear it. Leaf says, I'm here, I'm at work, but I'm here. Brock Work, he says, I think Drake is the weakest lyrically out of all three. I mean, that's already known him having ghost writers and i like to think that drake could write i i I like his his writing ability but the fact that k dot and the fact that kendrick lamar and j cole doesn't have ghost writers and they you know pretty much just write all of their content all of their lyrics all their bars you got to give them one or two now you're going to have fans debating about one and two and again, I want to get into that. We're definitely going to get into that. Um, I don't know where y'all want to start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the panel 
and and then also the Ice Cube offer to Caitlin Clark. I'm gonna just give it like a brief summary, and then I'm gonna open up the panel so we can all talk. Kate, Ice Cube, y'all seen the thumbnail? He offering five million. The starting pay for an NBA player? No, was it the max pay? Was it the max pay or the starting pay? It was like seven hundred thousand or something, like. And I just thought, like, okay, seven hundred thousand. But how could you turn down that money for a summertime? That's the summertime. The WNBA to counter that, they gotta do a lot to to counter that. The Caitlin Clark. Angel Reese and all of the females coming out of the draft from college are doing more for the WNBA than the WNBA is doing for them. I'm not even a heavy fan like that, but I know business. And I know they making money already. You know what I'm saying? I know they making money already. Um, So... I don't know how this is fitting to play out. You know what I mean? I, I really don't. Um, shout out to Jack City. Do it through a super chat. He says a Nick fan just into the chat. Shout out to Jack City. What up, Jack City? Um, we got some unrelated, you know, content outside of the Nets and Knicks. So I would definitely love to hear it. Um, the Knicks didn't lose tonight, so I really don't want to hear any Knicks content. If they lost it, I would love to hear it. You know, tell me how they lost to the Kings. I would love to hear it. But they won, so whatever. Uh, but thank thank you for the super chat, uh, Jack City. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you, I got you. Uh, here we go. Thank you for the, the super chat. Want to give you a warm welcome. That doesn't happen a lot. As a matter of fact, I think the only time the Knicks fan gets a warm welcome is with a super chat. That's a joke. Because J1, he definitely be showing up. He, he knows it's all love. So shout out to Jack City and J1. Okay, okay. That's enough claps for the Knicks fan. That's enough claps for the Knicks fan. Uh, Kate, he said, oh, yeah, Jack City is a WNBA fan. That's a fact. Uh, Claude Smith said, Caitlin Clark will get rich from endorsements alone. So Claw Smith is leaning towards how to W, like she don't really need the five million dollars. She'll get paid from endorsements that it could probably be close enough to the five million for her not to lure her to the big three. I mean, that's what they're gonna have to do. Either way, either way, Ice Cube is applying pressure. Either way, the big three is applying pressure. Jack City said, you know, I'm a, a WNBA fan. That's a fact. That's a fact. Uh, Jack City said about three or four years in. Okay, you've been a fan for about three, four years. I'm becoming a fan now. Shout to Irving K. He said W show W goat. Um, W he always showing love, man. Irving K. One of the better fans out here, always in the chat showing love. I got love for Irving K. Man, and hope everything's going good with him. Um, yeah, man. Shout out to you, man. Yeah, Ice Cube, he's he applying that pressure. He say he ain't want no beef with the NBA, and you can see him shine away from trying to, you know, make things, make matters worse, or he or make matters, uh, you know, turbulent. He He's definitely trying to, you know, not step on any toes, but at the end of the day, he's not going to let them back him in the corner. He's a good businessman, and since the beginning of him in doing business in the entertainment world he's always to, done good business i haven't even seen a bad movie he's put out all his music is solid never put out a bad movie the big three is innovative uh, uh given opportunities to ball players to still hoop at a professional level he's doing the he's incredible Big, yo, he should. He's he's part of Black History Month. Like he's got he black. Yo, Ice Cube represents Black ex excellence, bro. And I'm not trying to make this about a black thing, uh, but he's definitely a role model of mine. Um, definitely, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you know, the transition from rap to 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 movies. They don't mention Ice Cube because he's not on camera a lot. He's behind the camera a lot, but he's on camera, but not as much as behind the camera. You know, he directs more than anything, in my opinion. And he's doing huge things, man. So I got I got love for I got love for him, man. 
Um, Brock Work says, if I'm her, I'm taking the big three off. A WNBA will still be there. That's a fact. She could play one season with the big three and then go to the WNBA after that. That's like playing an extra year in college and not even. Because when you look at the schedule of the big three, they don't play a lot of games. Now, I would like to see the big three open up a woman's uh, uh, basketball tournament opposed to Caitlin Clark on the team, and she's the only female on the floor playing, hooping with a bunch of guys. I want to see her versus female competition. I think that's very possible, especially because the WNBA doesn't have as many basketball teams as the NBA. The WNBA has about, I don't know, 12 basketball teams, 14, I, I think. You know, half of what the NBA has, half of the season. They play half of the games. They play 41 games to be exact. You understand what I'm saying? It's a lot less that they have to deal with, and the season is way shorter. We're talking a three-month season to about a six-, seven-month season, right? So there's, there's a lot going on, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm gonna open up the chat, man. I want I I I want to know what you guys think. Um, but Bronny entering the NBA draft. Let me get. Let me say this. I'm gonna do the J Cole response with you guys. You know what I'm saying? But I'll say this about Bronny. Wherever Bronny go, his father gonna go, and Bronny is gonna and Bronny is gonna try to Bronny. They're gonna try to make Bronny. Make him NBA ready. I don't know if he's NBA ready, based off his stats. I'm not sure if he's NBA ready. I'm not. I'm not. I can't say he's NBA ready. But wherever he goes, LeBron is going to go. They, I think there's going to be a father and son duo. You know, and to be honest, I was watching Ticket earlier. He said that Ticket TV. He said that the Knicks. He said the L.A. Lakers and Philly have a chance of landing Bronny and LeBron James. How true that is, I don't know. You know, I'm not going to say it ain't true. But <sighs> Urban K say, Breezy, who you think is better one-on-one, -on -one, Bronny or Kaelin Clark? Mm -hmm. I might have to go with Kaelin Clark. I'll give Bronny the athleticism for sure, 100%. 100%. But I don't know about all that other stuff. Uh, uh, Jackson said, I love to see Clark play in the big three. It will open the floor for more things for women's sports. Reholler 88. Oh, man. He said, F Brawny. We had an earthquake, people. Yo, what? Uh, Reholler, did this affect you? I didn't feel the earthquake, Reholler 88. I did not feel it. So let me know if, if it affected you. Yo, shout to So Crazy TV. It's the first time I've seen him on the panel. Um, but shout to you for joining the panel, man. What's up with you, Brody? How you doing? Yeah, what's up, my brother? Chilling, man. What's going on, man? This is the first time I've seen you on here. You got a YouTube page, yeah, too? Yeah. Cool. So, all right, yeah, yeah, shout, yeah. Shout, uh, shout your page out. Let them know where they can find you. All right, for sure. Um, so Crazy TV on YouTube, man. I do... NBA videos, and I got a podcast with my boy, Moose Talks Hoops. Uh, we do it every day. But, yeah, oh, man, uh, big friend Breezy, uh, I've, I've been watching you for a while, man. I've been seeing you on seeing you on FYF. Uh, you know, that's that's how I've seen you on there first, debating oh, okay, and stuff okay. like that. I got to get back over there, but, man, um, with the debates. Yeah, it's it's been real. It's been real dead over there. I don't, I don't know. Maybe uh, Lamont is on vacation. I don't know. But we've been in the Discord though. But uh, but yeah, man. Shout out to your channel, man. Salute to you for uh, making content, man. Uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that for sure, my brother. I know yeah, how hard you, that man. could be for sure. Yeah, it's, yeah. But I appreciate you too, man. I'm gonna check out your page too. Maybe we could do some. You know. Yeah, no problem. Uh, uh, so, are you are you on uh the Bronny segment yet? Uh, we could talk about it. You know, I threw the link in the chat to see how y'all feel. I just kind of, kind of breeze through the uh the you know what the show is about today, and then we can yeah. talk about whatever y'all want to talk about. But uh, Bronny, go ahead, talk to me how you feel about Bronny. All right, so so um, Bronny, right? Everybody was hating on Bronny when. 
he was a first round pick, right? Before mm-hmm. he had the heart attack. And I feel like, you know, he should have, I feel like he should have just stayed in school. You know what I'm saying? Should have mm-hmm. stayed in school, got another year under him. But I mean, his dad is LeBron, you know, he still got leverage. Um, I feel like any team that gets LeBron uh, son, they're going to get LeBron as well because he, mm-hmm. he wants to play with his son. And, you know, he kept saying that in interviews and all that. So, I mean, whatever team he gets, I mean, he's a second round pick, so teams can't get him, bro. You know, so, so that's, that, yeah, that's that, how that's, I feel about Brian. I think I'll, I just looking at his stats and we can get to it, get to the nitty gritty about Bronny James, but for what I've seen in USC, he wasn't the winner there, man. He didn't have a great season. Right, right. He didn't put right. up big numbers. Um, I don't know how high his upside is, how tall he'll grow. And again, you we uh, subconsciously contrast him to his father. You know right, what I mean? Right. Because it's like you coming from greatness. We, we imagine you're going to be just as great as a player. And I don't know if his heart is in it the same way that his father is. Um, when I look at Bronny's stats, you mm. know, I won't say they underwhelming because I haven't seen him actually play the game. You know, I haven't watched any of his games to say he mm-hmm. can play or not play. And I haven't seen a lot of his highlights. And I know the media is all over covering him. But right. when when I look right here, uh, So Crazy TV, he's mm-hmm. averaging just five, just shy of five points. Um, just shy of three rebounds, two assists, thirty six from the thirty six percent from the field, and he's six four. Now, as a guard, you mm-hmm. want him to be that tall. Um, but productivity, bro, I'm a, I would yeah. want to I would want to see more than this, man. Yeah, yeah, me too, man. He I only played. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's let's put this let's put this into context of, because you say he should go back for his sophomore year. And just so y'all know, mm-hmm. he played 25 games. He started six. He uh, averaged about 19 minutes per game. He was only putting up like close to five point attempts a game. He only averaged 1.6 uh, uh, makes at the basket. Um, he's less than 1% for taking a three ball, 26% for three point percentage. Um, he's definitely somebody that has to be developed to be ready for the NBA. I don't know if he's NBA Facts. ready. So crazy. Facts. I don't. I don't think so either, man. I don't. I don't think so. I feel like he should. He should just keep hooping, man. I mean, there's no. There's a lot of pressure on him because he's LeBron James' son. You know what I'm saying? That comes with a lot of pressure. But I feel like the the dude should yeah. just hoop, man. I don't know. I don't know why he's rushing it and getting to the. NBA draft. I mean, you know, I don't know, man. But it's. I mean, he no, can I, defend. I, I he can shoot so. the three. You know, what I'm saying? he can shoot the three. Yeah. He could defend. But we need to see more, man. He gotta. He gotta at least be putting up like at least put up fourteen, man. You know. I think yeah. No, I think it speaks volume that he uh only played. He only started six times out of. 25 and again i think another thing is to it's his conditioning can he play at mm. such a fast pace and a high pace can you know how fast paced basketball is you know how fast the game moves everybody's always going to remember him you know what i'm saying what happened with him in college you know where he i think he he uh he went unconscious or something like that because oh, yeah. he was so something like that, you know, the, the he got to pass physicals. And, yeah, power-wise, his father got enough pull to get him on board to any of these NBA teams. I won't say any, but there's going to be teams that want to do business with LeBron James. They're going to be in the business of wanting LeBron James and maybe one of his last seasons because that's basically what it is. Now, right. let's further the conversation, So Crazy TV. Now, sure. of course, you you would want – I will one would think, or I would think, that a LeBron James will want to pass the torch to his sons for him to be the face of the league. But I don't think that Bronny James could be the face of the league over Wimby, over Anthony Edwards. I don't know if he's that good. How, no, y'all, how you I feel about no, no, no. I don't. I don't see that either, bro. I don't see that either. I just feel like um, whatever team that gets Bronny is going to try to get LeBron James as well, and that's going to make them get more money, bring people watching, uh, the ticket sales, all that. So it's all about money at the end of the day. 
but he's not gonna. I don't see him getting being better than Anthony Edwards, Wimby, all them young guys. I don't see that, bro. Right. So even when he I'm gets to the league, I don't think he'll yeah. be the face of the NBA. That's what I'm saying. I don't yeah, think he's going to be the face of the I mean, we've never seen, like, um, a great NBA player have a son and then they become the face. I, we've never seen that. And I don't, right. I don't think he can do that. I think he could be the best son for a great NBA player. I, I could see that, but I don't see him being the face of the NBA. I don't see that. That's a fact. We got Leaf on the panel with us. Yo, Leaf, how you feel about Bronny James getting into the draft? Um, this is probably the best draft for him to go in, man, because uh, this draft is obviously uh cooked. Um, there's no real, there's no real like superstar coming out of this draft. Um, mm. uh, you know how I feel about Zach Eady, bro, and um, just off the strength of the way the thirty um GMs is probably gonna react to Zach Eady, Eady in terms of how he could play in the NBA game. I think, I honestly believe, bro, like Bronny could go ahead of him just just off of politics. You know, I, I mean, like, we all know that LeBron uh, got a lot of pull in the league, bro. Like, so, and there ain't no question of that, man. So, I mean, he, he going to get on the team somewhere. It's just all about where and where. And then right, LeBron going to sign it, then he going to play. Facts. But that's – is it, do you think that – do you think that Ronnie – again, you know, this is going to mean a lot because this is called nepotism at its finest. Now that being said, is uh, is it wrong? I, I imagine this is something that all fans expected, but I don't. Again, the thing with me is when is he going to be NBA ready? You know, I think I think a player like uh, Bronny James, he got a lot of pressure on him just being who he is, and his father mm-hmm. staying in the league long enough just so he could come and play with his son. This is record-breaking shit, too. I don't even know mm-hmm. if this ever happened. Has there ever been a father-son play in this league at the same time? No. In the NBA, no. No. In the NBA, no. Okay. But but the only thing I would add to this, man. This would be the first time. This is kind of a ready or not situation. I'm pretty sure they were saying the same thing about Kevin Garnett back in 1995 when he couldn't pass the SAT. He had to go to the NBA. So, so, so the reality is, is that like, I mean, you know, somebody going to have to like, in terms of like a, a son following in his father's footsteps or whatever, like, and we've seen plenty of situations of those, but we haven't seen a situation like Bronny's with basically LeBron ain't leaving until he played with his son. And he made that adamant. He's made that clear on many different cases. So, I mean, I don't think a uh, uh, Bronny, uh, uh, living up to anybody living up to LeBron's career, like it's just unseemly. I mean, the only the only cases that you probably have was in terms of trajectory is probably Luca and Wimby as of right now. So right, right. But th- what I'm saying is, I feel you on that. But again, I just think he got a s- heavy or stiff pause competition for the face of the league. I really do think Wimby Edwards. Uh, there's players in front of him that he can't just jump over because he's LeBron James' son. Like these, these are a uh, Luca. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? These are right. these are legitimate players that they're gonna consider faces of the league one day before Bronny James. No, or or a Bronny James would have to have way more better stats than this. I, I he would have to be way harder than this for him to uh, be considered. So, so hold on, uh, uh, Wimby stats he averaging shot, I think maybe like a double double this this season. No, he's averaging um, twenty. He's averaging twenty two eleven, and he's leading the league in blocks. Right, right. So, so I don't know. I don't know if Bronny James could put up some numbers like that to no. to act to to be the. No, I don't. I don't see no. that either, bro. No, I don't see that neither, brother. Um, and just just to let y'all know, like. Wimby is up for defensive player of the year, and the Spurs barely got twenty wins. So, so that 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 that'll let you know that you know the 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 machine, the the marketing machine, and the battery is already in the back of Wimby going forward, bro. Like, so I mean, once LeBron leaves, we all know who gonna be the the who who is right. gonna be like the basically like the odds on favor to like you know carry the 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 next lineage. Of, of the next generation and in the next decade. I mean, it depends on how long he lasts, but I mean, we never seen a seven foot four dude last over at least 10 years in the league anyway. But I mean, who knows, man? Wimby will probably definitely be that with the limited minutes that he's playing. So 
but Bronny come, becoming the face. But all this is is just Bronny playing with um LeBron playing with his son. That's right. all this is. That's right. that's it. Yep, facts. I agree. Um. Well, I think whoever team he goes to, they make some uh championship contending team just because Bronny on it with his son, and that would be record breaking <laughs> too. If, Le- if LeBron actually wins the NBA championship with his son the first season, uh-huh. and I only that, said that would be, be crazy. Hold on, hold on, uh-huh. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me finish. Let me finish. And the reason why I say that is because of the machine. Because they want to push the narrative of LeBron being the greatest and him actually playing with his son the first year. This shit sounds too much like a movie to me. You know, I don't. I don't just think. Yeah, I, it I don't. It don't seem see, real. I feel right. I, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would actually have to see a real roster to say, oh, okay, this makes sense for them to win it. But right now, I do think that he gets drafted when if he enters the draft and he does play with his father. But then winning the NBA championship, you're gone too far. Yeah, you're gone yeah, too far. Yeah, they gone way too far. We, we talking, about, we talking <laughs> That's about crazy. A, we talking about a machine on top of a machine on top of another machine. Bro. Yeah, like, like there's think, too many. Yeah, I don't machines. think I don't think the NBA the, the NBA would look very very suspect if they were pushing a 40 year old man and his son to to NBA championship. Knowing good and damn well LeBron can't lead shit no more. <laughs> Like, come on, brother! It'll it'll be right. downright disgusting, you know. Like, and and, right. and everybody would and see the play, and everybody uh-huh. would see the play, and and, and everybody would uh-huh. scream the f word, bro. Like, it's the second that it happens, bro. Like, no way. There's no. Way. <laughs> <laughs> I seen I seen a comment in the chat that was like, uh, "Can the Lakers get Bronny?" Yeah. yeah. Hey, that's a possibility. He's a second round pick. You know, they could get him, but and if the Lakers win, that'll be crazy. The Lakers uh, win, that'd be crazy, but man. It, yeah, but that's that will just make it corny because my thing is yeah. again a, a lot of, a lot of times um when you look at all right when you first off my thing is they gotta consider Bronny health like you gotta consider his health let's call it what it is in college they play a good but maybe twenty something thirty maybe forty games max in the oh, NBA yeah. it's an eighty two game season game season that transition in itself. It's tough mm-hmm. yeah, for him to, to ask him after having health conditions early. Then he gets to the league after what playing one year in college, mm. and then he's just ready or the for an 82 game season. It just that's why I was saying he should play, you know, he should, like he should play another year. That's why I was saying, well, that, well, know? well, the thing is, y'all thinking an 80 some game season, like 40 something minutes a game that he's playing, he'll probably be playing like maybe uh, like 15 minutes at, at the most, bro, in his first year. The way he, that he is, if if he progresses in those 15 minutes, then it'll go up, you know. So, some, some sort of like the situation that our rookies is going through because we're taking baby steps. You know, I mean, he probably going to be out there when LeBron is out there. So LeBron can hold his hand, basically, and, you know, and they can have a machine behind him. And then LeBron get every call and all this extra BS that's going on. And the circus that's been going on for the last 20 years in the NBA, man, that is LeBron James. But, I mean, it is what it is, man. Like, I'm I'm done with it, man. Like, once LeBron retired, we could get back to the regular schedule programming. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. My thing is, I always want to see the best team win. And I'm not going to lie, as far as w- of what you said, I- I've never seen a player has so much say in the GM office. Like, this guy makes a lot of players. <laughs> like, I, yesterday, I said it last night. I said, he's the, I said, he's he got, GM, I said, yeah. I said it. I said, he got a Thanos glove. He just snapped his fingers and he switched the team in. You know what I'm Listen, saying? Like I, I, I tell you, LeBron had LeBron has had this since he left Miami, and since they they got, since David Stern has left this league, bro, and they put a uh, uh, Mr. Mackey from South Park in, in charge of this whole thing, bro. Like, bro, <laughs> like you be you basically been seeing LeBron be getting away with any and everything that he wanted, bro. Like, and in that time. He's only had uh what two championships to show for it in, in, uh, in that span, so for you to have all of that pull and you and for you to have this little success, I, I'm 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 getting way off for it. The problem is is that we we know this machine, we know we know what the machine is, and we know what the fix is, bro. Like they can't hide it anymore. And they, I don't even think they're trying to hide it. To be honest with you, so 
It is what but it Kwaku is. Ghana, Kwaku Ghana said Bronny a bench play, but player. Maybe the Lakers pick him up in a two way. Um, Irving K said W leaves W go. Irving K also says everyone go press that press the like button. Appreciate it. Subscribe. Yeah, the like button first. Mm. I feel like I feel, I feel like y'all be watching, but y'all don't be subscribing, man. So y'all y'all watch the content, like it. I don't like it, but y'all still watch it, even if you don't like it. I mean, come on, man. It can't be that hard to just tap the like button, push the like button. I ain't asking you to punch the like button or elbow the like button. I'm asking for a little tap or a little push. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 light work. You know what I'm saying? But uh, hold on. Claude Smith said, he said, based on his stats, Bronny name wouldn't even come up in the conversation if LeBron wasn't his father. Mm. Okay. Mm. Talk to him, Claude Smith. He, uh, New York Nets said everyone been saying the NBA is rigged. Oh man, you, you you heard the word. The bird is the word. Quaku Ghana said you think the Nets go for someone undrafted? Maybe that's possible. They did before, but they never took nobody serious. They had a guy. He was a guard. He was nice, but they let him go. He was like six five, and he was hooping in the G League. So even if they do get him, I don't think they focus on him. I think they focus on the draft picks we already got. I think they want to invest in them. Um, Quake Ugana follows up. He said, Do you or do you think they trade someone to get a, a, a second or a first? Yeah, I think, I think, um, yeah, they trade. I think they make that trade. But Sean Marks got to be better on, he got to be on the mark. He got to look for what his trade is and, and be able to negotiate what he actually wants. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it's not easy. Um, Irvy K, he follows up. He goes, uh, stop watching for the whole show and don't press the like button. Talk to him, Irving K. <laughs> he, uh, New York <laughs> Nets said, he said, oh, has be saying every play is spoken for. Um, damn, Lee, if you ain't hit a J. Cole response, you got to hear that before we get to that part. Uh, came out last night. Uh, a, a was here, AWNC Enterprise. He, he basically uh, told us about the song. I was about to end the stream. He told us about the song. We went to listen to it. I listened to it today again and again i think kendrick got more battle mode and and j cole got more bars but it wasn't the oh it's the it's the um it's the um the uh mike delete later the mixtape i'm yeah, gonna pull up the bars crazy. for y'all i'm gonna pull up the bars for did he did he uh, actually get this kendrick though because i didn't hear the diss either yeah, I mean, he can't. He, he, they, he was saying warning shots like, yo, if you take it further than this, I'm gonna go in. Like, nah, Kendrick, the way he started it off, wait, wait, no wait, warning wait, shot. Wait, warning wait, for wait, what? Wait, now, I'm wait, telling wait, you what wait, it wait, is. Wait, How you warning wait, me? Wait, 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 wait a second. I, you know what? I agree with you on that, bro. You waited this long to respond to a joint and saying this is a warning shot. Wait, come on, bro. Like, mm-hmm. listen, I, I and, and I told you weeks ago when um Kendrick dropped his his diss, I was like uh, on on uh, future joint. I said Aubrey is not gonna get involved in this because he don't have he don't stand to win he don't stand to to gain anything from this. This is this is all about Kendrick and J Cole. That's what it's mm-hmm. about, bro. Like, and, and nah, it, Drake can't duck that smoke. No, no, it's, it's, no. It's not, a, it's not about if he duck in the smoke. If he gets involved. He, so hold on. No, no, no. Why he came at why he came at um Travis Scott. I seen him on stage and he right. had came at Travis Scott. He listen, you didn't I, see I don't that? know. I don't I don't know what the, I don't know what the uh incentive was for Travis Scott, but all I know in terms of the, if the anything on, Kendrick man. related, everybody know they've been going at they've been sending jabs at each other for he's been sending jabs at for years. Nah, this, this ain't no fucking jab this was an uppercut or, or nah, this was, was a motherfucking a, hook this kendrick was a had hook. a hand had a, a hand it was a hook man but it wasn't no ko hook bro like come on bro like let's let's be real bro what like, you mean like, it wasn't no ko hook Bro, the kendrick come on the kendrick verse wasn't all that bro like everybody knows Hi. it bro Everybody nah, knows that person. But all his all energy that. was his energy was where it was. So so hold on, leave leave right. Diggy. Who you who you with? I'm not with anybody on this. Oh, I already okay. said it a long time ago when it, when <laughs> this first came out on the future joint. As far as battle, bro, all three of them is mid to me. As mm. far as as far as I'm concerned, bro. Hey. Like, so who no, he so really, who nice he in really, battle? Don't just say that. No, huh. who nice in battle? But if they mid, who's great? I got who's Kendrick. Great. Bro. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, they all great though. I mean, to me, they're they all great, but since he said that, I want him to stand on it. So who's great? Yeah. Who's great if and, they and, mid? And, and term- if Kendrick and J. Cole is mid? I ain't even mad you said that about Drake. 
But if they them two is yeah. mid, then, then tell me yeah. who's great. I need to know. They 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 mid in terms of the battle aspect, in terms of like, like rhyming, like in terms of like they so, okay, so they uh, know, leave diggy. That's crazy. Who's great? Who's great hey, to me? I who's agree with Drake. Me? I agree with Drake. Who's Nick. great? Who's great to me, bro? Like, listen, I'm you know I'm a I'm a 2000s head, so like I'm a mm. right away go with Jada Kiss and anybody from the locks, mm. bro. Like, like be I'm from okay. that era, bro. Like I that's, that's more me. You know what I'm saying? So I give you that. like you know like the, like I don't rock with today's Eminem. Anything from like early 2000s Eminem, bro. Like I rock with, but like not today's Eminem. That that's robotic rap. I ain't doing that. Um, I I would say, bro, like, listen, uh, um, the rock, listen, the Rockefeller days, bro, when Jay and Beans was tearing people apart, bro, like, listen, I listen, you could go to the, any of those eras, bro. I'm telling you, the battle rap scene, in terms of like keeping it on record or on wax, is way different from what it was years ago. It is, bro. Like these these dudes, man, they they not, they 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 not them. They they yes. they they want to they want to talk their stories they they want to you know be cool and and ha- have they have they thing they not they they from certain hood areas but they not hood they they don't have that hood mentality they they don't have the stories that the that the right. um the the the, the, hey, the Lee, let me that we let me say this right, hold on, hold on. they don't hold, yeah go go ahead so crazy TV I'm a, I'm gonna follow up after that because we're gonna bro, break this whole bro thing Leaf down. you I know you heard the control verse where he went at like. Damn near the niggas that he's competing with. I, I was dropping it, yeah. names, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, Kendrick been doing this though. If he gonna if he gonna say something, he gonna say something about you, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's true. But like, I feel like uh Drake, when it comes to battle, I feel like you could say that he's mid, but uh Cole, Cole and Kendrick, man, them dudes ready for battle, man. They they ready I, I for think, that. I think I I think the thing is they've been circling they've been circling around. Bro, the you idea. mentioned one rapper. You mentioned Jadakiss. Like besides I Jadakiss, mean, I mentioned who, one rapper. You got but I mentioned I mentioned Jadakiss and and Styles and and like Two. like when, when, like those days, those days. But bro, they like, in that same room. Don't make it seem like that ain't the same lunch table, bro. If there was a rap lunch, if there was a rap lunch room, Kendrick J Cole. Uh, uh, Jada Kiss and Styles P, they all sit at the same rap lunch table, bro. They all in that same. You could get that. They gonna get. They gonna do work and they gonna get you work, bro. I, I don't even know what he talking. So crazy TV. Maybe mm. you should, should be on your show because he sounds so crazy right now, bro. Yeah, that's uh. And, Leaf, I, can't, Leaf, I, can't I seen. I seen the, Leaf digging. Uh, the, uh, uh he's, he's, and Kendrick, he's, he's especially Kendrick being mid on on battle. How is Kendrick made? He's greatness. No, no, I wouldn't say Kendrick is made. Uh, okay. uh, okay. I, I think so, that's so, a, I think that's a big stretch, bro. So, 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 give me. Uh, okay, so, all right, so, give me the people that um the rappers that Kendrick has like went at, like on, bro, he on, need, the record. on the on that control verse he went on. He bro, I can give you the names. He, he went, went at Drake. Big, he, he went, went at, at Jay Cole. Sean, he went at Drake. He Meek went at, Mills, Big Sean. Meek uh, Big who Sean. else? J Electron on his song, on uh, and he dissed Big Sean and J Electron on the same song, and they doing the verse on the song. Right, right, right. Okay. Oh my God, bro, he dissed like bro. Who, who, who did, bro? We we haven't seen something like that back then. They was cooking like if the, if they had beef with somebody, it was one on one beef. No, nah, no, nah, I was on the record. You bro. know what like, I'm saying? Styles, Styles P went at Jay on the record. Jay the Kiss went at Beans on the same record. Like Beans went at Jay Kiss on the same record. Um, Jay went at Jay went at a couple of people on the same record, bro. Like we've seen it before. We, I yeah, but we've who seen it before? But pause. Bro. Who went at like ten niggas on the same record though? You said ten dudes. All right, nah, bro. Nah, he nah, he named was... bro. Uh, big fan breezy. Am I lying? How yeah. many niggas did he name? Bro, I'm a, I'm pulling up the verse right now because <laughs> I mean he I, cooked, I, I don't man. I don't I, I, listen man that verse was tough and bro and and it, at that time it was like man it was like bro we haven't heard nothing like this I mean sh- yeah. shady verse shady versus Jaru bro we seen like plenty of niggas getting going out on the record I let I like, put it to you this way bro like in in terms of in terms of the content, okay. bro, like, and I'm, and that's because that's what I'm overall thinking of the content. Because when I think of a diss record, bro, like, I'm thinking of, 
obviously we thinking of Efa, we thinking of no Vaseline, we thinking of the like the cream of the crop in terms of a disc record, bro. Like on terms of a disc first. You know what I'm saying? Nah, bro, like, hold on, think- hold on. <laughs> hold on. I pulled up the verse, bro. I pulled up yeah, the verse. I pull up the verse. I, I'm not fitting to do this, bro. Hold on. Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar says um, he, he got a bridge and then he got the verse and he got verse two. So he said miscellaneous minds are never explaining their minds. So again, think about who he's talking about. It. This is how he's starting it. He said, miscellaneous <laughs> minds are never explaining their minds. Devilish grin for my alias, aliens to respond. Peddling sin, thinking maybe when you get old, you'll realize I'm not. He said, I'm not going to fold or demise. I don't oh, smoke so crack, motherfucker. I sell it. sell it. Bitch, can I finish, bro? Mm. Can I finish? Bro? You I, I, I know the first, bro. You, 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 bro, you, you, I'm doing bro. something. You Let him cook, it, bro. Leave. Yeah, Exactly. Why you doing that, bro? Let me finish. Unless you want to read the verse, you were saying all that shit about hold on, hold on. You were saying that he mid, and now that I pull up this verse, fit in the spit it, and you you over there trying to talk while I'm rapping. Stop talking while I'm rapping, yo, smack. Tell him stop talking while I'm rapping, smack. Hold on, he said miscellaneous minds are never explaining their minds. Devilish grin for my alias aliens to respond. Peddling sin, thinking maybe when you get old, you realize I'm not. Gonna fold the demise. I don't smoke crack, motherfucker. I sell it, bitch. Everything I rap is a quarter piece to your melon. So if you have a hit, this is battle rap. What? It, hold on. He says, so if you have a relapse, just relax and pop in my disc. Don't you pop me no fucking pill. I'm going to pop you, then give you this. He said, tell Flex to drop a bomb on this shit. So many bombs ring the alarm like Vietnam on this shit. So many bombs make Farrakhan think that's a dime in this bitch. One at a time, I line them up and bomb on their mom where they watching the kids. I'm... He's he's unhinged. He says, I'm in destruction mode if, uh, if the gold exists. I'm important like the Pope. I'm a Muslim on pork. I'm Machiavelli's offspring. I'm the king of New York, king of the coast. One hand, I juggle them both. The juggernauts all in your good juggler. You, you take me for jokes. Live in the basement, church pews and funeral faces. Cardio bracelets for my women friends. I'm in Vegas. Who the fuck y'all thought it was supposed to be? I feel Jackson came back, still no coaching me. I'm uncoachable, unsociable. Fuck your clubs. Fuck your pictures. Your Instagram can gobble He's nuts. Gobble dick up till you hiccup. My big homie corrupt. Gobble what? He said, my big homie corrupt. This the same flow that put the rap game in a crutch. West, 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 West. I seen niggas transform like villain decept- Decepticons. Mo- Molly's will probably turn these niggas to fucking Lindsay Lohan. A bunch of rich ass white girls looking for parties. Playing with Barbies. What? Playing with Barbies? Who are you talking about? You know who you yeah. talking about, Drake. <laughs> Who you know he's talking about Drake. Yeah. Hold on, I ain't done. He said it was mid. I, I'll debate that shit. He said, he said, wreck the Kendrick Lamar said, he said, playing with Barbies, wreck the Porsche before you giving them the car key. Judgment to the monarchy, blessings to Paul McCartney. You call me a black beetle, I'm either that or a Marley. I, I don't smoke crack, motherfucker, I sell it. He said, I'm dressing all black. This is not for the fan of Elvis. I'm aiming straight for your pelvis. You can't stomach me. You plan on stumping me, bitch. I've been jumped before. You put a gun on You put a gun on me, bitch. I put one on yours. I'm Sean Connery. James Bonding with, no, with none of you niggas. Climbing 100 mil in front of me. YouTube, do not block me. This dude, this is me just reading lyrics. Hold he charging on. up. He charging up. What? He said, he said, climbing a hundred mil in front of me and I'm going to get it even if you're in the way. And if you're in it, better run for Pete's sake. I heard the barbershops being great debates all the time about who the best C- MC, Kendrick Jigger and Nas, Eminem, Andre 3000. The rest of y'all new niggas, just new niggas. Don't get involved. I ain't rocking no more designer shit. White teens and Nike Cortez, this red core for anonymous. I'm usually homeboys with the same niggas I'm rhyming with, but this is hip hop and them niggas should know what time it is and that goes for jermaine cole first name he mentioned nigga. <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about go Hold ahead on. and cook 
Go Come ahead on. and cook. And, yeah, and, and that goes for Jermaine Cole, Big Crit, Wale, Pusha T, Meek Mills, ASAP Rocky, Drake. Drake is number, hold on, one, two, three, four, five. He's number six on the list. He ain't even number two. He ain't even say Drake and Jermaine Cole or Jermaine Cole and Drake. Bro, what? He said, Man. and that goes for Jermaine Cole, Big Crit, Wale, Pusha T, Meek Mills, ASAP, Rocky, Drake, Big Sean, J Electron, Tyler Mac Miller. I got love for all y'all, but I'm trying to murder you niggas. He said, trying to make sure your core fans never heard of you niggas. They don't want to hear not one more now or verb from you niggas. He said, with this competition, I'm trying to raise the bar high. Who trying to jump and get it? You better off trying to skydive out the exit window of a five G5s with a with five grand with your granddad as the pilot. He drunk as fuck trying to land with a handful of off riders and popping pro prosthetic leg, bumping pocket in the cockpit. So the shit that pops in his head is an option of violence. Someone heard the stewardess said that your know, parachute is a latex kind of hook to a drag. West Coast. What? Recap that shit. Tell now, tell me he made after that. Please. Man, Leaf, that was eleven niggas, <laughs> eleven niggas, and then he paid homage to the goats. Facts first, before he even go at the uh, the other uh, artists, he 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 get to paying homage first, letting them know like, yo, I'm not even talking about child. He said the new niggas just new niggas. All up, yeah, yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm done. I'm on mute. I'm, Leaf, I'm, 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 what I'm, I'm what else lie. I need to say? I'm not gonna lie, Breezy. You rapped that shit way better than he did. I ain't gonna lie to you. Come on, <laughs> you did. I I'm, I'm like, I had, I had, to, I, I almost forgot how long ago that was because if I'm not mistaken, bro, he did, he did mention, he did name drop ten niggas on that. You absolutely right, crazy. He did name drop ten niggas on I that. I think he said probably, eleven. Or eleven, I, I, if, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, because um, it, it, yeah, and J Cole he did name first, and if I'm not mistaken, that that was like how many years ago? I, I, if I had to remember, I don't even remember how many years ago from it, and I don't even remember how I'm many of them niggas. Actually, I don't even remember how many of them niggas actually took that seriously or responded to it. But I did. I like I just. Bro, just he did this in he did this in August 2013, bro. That was eleven After, years ago. Mm-hmm. After. Uh, after that album that blew up, bro. After, After that, that um, album that that blew up, that yeah, that was yeah. the same. If I'm not mistaken, that was the same year as Good Kid, Mad City. Yeah, yeah, Good Kid, Mad City. The year Good after Kid, he, Mad, he yeah, dropped yeah. that song on him. Yeah, yeah, Good Kid, Mad City, and everything, bro. Like, listen, my whole thing was never at Kendrick's uh, uh, as a rapper. I mean, I think a lot of his a lot of what uh, his stories and his raps. Is, is, is pretty good, but in terms of battle, I'm just accustomed to a certain type of battle. That's that's all. I'm just a certain to a custom type of content when it comes to battle rap, bro. Like, listen, but uh, listen, that's why I said. So hold on, let me I let me ask you this. Let me let me ask you this. Mid to me, bro. Like, Bait, there's nothing that he can say. Bro, you, you I rap, don't. I don't. You rap I, that I, shit I don't way see better. How... To me, you listen, rap that shit way better than he did. To you after that, bro. If yeah, you you, 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 just, you rap I, that I way know. better than he did, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Bro, I, a, listen again. The, only, the, the reason, here. listen, the reason why you probably you saying that is because you actually seeing the lyrics, and sometimes you could get caught up in the flow nah, and the, nah. the beat. Hold on, hold on. Sometimes you could get caught up in the flow and the beat and miss certain bars. But, but when you break this down, this is what I'm saying. His whole way he raps is towards an angle of battling. Like he that's his approach. He ain't trying to talk to mm. remember Kim Ron said he said, Yo, I'm just trying to talk with y'all. How you feel about me? Yo, I'm trying to walk with y'all. Yo, I uh. think I'm pretty hot when I rhyme. Yo, so case in point is, which is that line was a pause. I ain't even gonna say the next line. But yeah, the, yeah, that was case in point is he's saying I want to talk to y'all. Yeah, That's what he said. He said, I'm he trying is, to talk to y'all. saying that, bro, but listen, Kendrick Lamar all... is barking. Just, just Bruh, off the strength of the see. last, off Bruh. the last five minutes, you, you, you wrapped that verse way better than he did, bro. We signed a breezy up, hit him up records, bro. Like we signed the niggas up, bro. Like for real. Yo, you funny that, as that hell, today, bro. <laughs> bro. Listen, bro. Like I look, I put it to you this way, bro. Like in Shout terms of it, yeah, man. And, and um, I'm gonna say this before I bow out, before I get back to the desk, but like to me. This was a long time coming. I mean, Kendrick wanted it. J. Cole was kind of hesitant on it. 
Um, but but overall, in terms of the battle, Kendrick versus J. Cole, I'm leaving Aubrey name out because I don't think Aubrey gonna say shit. But um the in terms of Kendrick and J. Cole, this was a long time coming. I think Kendrick wanted this for the last eleven years. Um J. Cole kind of wanted to be he homie, called, homie. So so okay, so hold on. So again, to to the point, um, do y'all remember Black Friday was supposed to come out, the mixtape between J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't. remember that. Right. So where, you where they hopped on each other's songs, I think. Yeah, yeah which yeah, was both of those songs was dope. I love both of those mm-hmm. songs. Yeah. Um, I'll pull that shit up, man. I love that. I got that shit on my playlist, man. I gotta listen to that shit yeah. again. Yeah, Black yeah, Black Friday was cool. I mean, but Black I mean, Friday was cool, man. I, I but to end to end my whole sentiment on this whole thing, bro. Like it's just that I personally think Kendrick wanted this for years, mm-hmm. but it, it the when he when back in twenty thirteen with the shit that you just read, bro. When it started out, I think he wanted it on some, some competition shit. But now he wanted on some personal shit. Like if you, you can tell. From nah, now, it's because it's shit. because no. Hold on, and this is what I'm saying. To I'm gonna put up two things. Two two, two things I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put up the um. I'm not gonna do the first person shooter verse. We're gonna focus more on Kendrick Lamar verse, and then we're gonna focus on his response, J Cole's response. We're gonna just skip the Man. first person. I'm gonna do that from the desk, bro. I gotta get back. For to sure, the first, bro. I, I, we gonna get, but we gonna get to that next. We are gonna skip that. That you cool with that? So crazy TV. Yeah, yeah, I'm cool with that. Go ahead, bro. All right, so we are gonna do that, and then um, you know what I'm saying? We gonna see J Cole's response, but first we, I, I really wanna hear um. I really want to hear like that first. Uh, and so, hey, yo, if y'all ever want to come up here and karaoke these bars, y'all could do that too, man. It's this, uh, you know, you you try to, try to get it right. Shit hey, big easy, fan, bro. breezy. You you remember yep. the BT Awards? That cipher that he had with his group. Yep. And he went at yeah. Drake. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm trying to tell him, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why 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 Leaf was blazing like that. Man. Mm-hmm. You know I think I mean? it's personal with Drake though. I think the reason why Kendrick dissed uh, Cole too is because Cole was on the song, so he's like, "Nigga, you with this nigga? So so eff it, you mm-hmm. could get it too." Type shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. Now nah, you gotta yeah. do that though. You, yeah. you gotta you can't be that close to somebody I don't fuck with and not get this work. You gonna get this work too. <laughs> you too. You too close. You're too close, man. You're too close. You know what I'm saying? Um, so again, the reason why I wanted to look at first person shooter is because he was replying to J. Cole and he's saying something about the if you talk about office, you better be talking about working in, in cubicles. And then um Kendrick Lamar, he starts with don't these niggas talking out they necks. These niggas are Drake and J. Cole. He says, Don't pull no coffin out your out of your mouth. So J. Cole was talking out of his neck. Instead of his mouth, when he said the no coffin bar, I continue. Then he says, I'm way too paranoid for a threat. Hey, hey, let's get it, bro. DOT, the money, power, respect. The last one is better to say it's a lot of goofies with a check. That was tough. That was mean. Then he said, I mean, he said, oh, I was saying, ah, but he was like, I mean, ah, oh, I hope them sentiments symbolic. Oh, my temperament bipolar, I chose violence. Okay, let's get it up. It's time for me to. It's time for him. I'm talking. He's talking about J. Cole right here. It's time for him to prove that he's a problem. Niggas clicking up, but cannot be legit. No 40 water. Tell him. Oh, now again, this is the reply to, in my opinion, to J. Cole not doing the mixtape with Kendrick Lamar. What happened to that? Niggas clicking up. Mm. Cannot be legit. No 40 water. But what happened to our mixtape, J. Cole? We were supposed you, you to be got working. A point. So what happened you to got that? A point, so man. now y'all clicking up, but I've been asking for the mixtape. Look at and, and look and, and peep this shit though. Too so so um so crazy TV. What's up? Drake What's done up? did mixtapes with mad other dudes besides J Cole. He did it with Future. Right. He did it with uh uh, uh Travis Scott. He did mad different mixtapes with mad different artists before mm-hmm. he even got to J Cole. So he like this. How could this alliance be real when Jay Drake did all of this music without you and got where he at? You got Drake saying, I went away from Michael Jackson, nigga, beat it. Did, yo, it's a lot of subs. Yeah. Verses, bro. You know it's what I'm a, saying? It's a lot. It's a lot of smoke in the, in the air right now. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> 
Word. So, okay, so he goes, um, okay, let's get it up. It's time for, for him to prove that he's a problem. They clicking up, but cannot be legit. No 40 water. Tell him, oh, yeah, huh, get up with me. First, fuck sneak this in. First person shooter. I hope they came with three switches. I, I switches. I crash out like fuck rap. This Melly Mel, if I had to, got two T's with me. I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. It's up. Lost too many soldiers not to play it safe. If you walk around with that stick, it ain't Andre 3K. Think I won't drop the location. I still got PTSD. Mother, fuck the big three. It's just big me. Bang. Like, what? <laughs> then he said, he said, what? I'm really like that. Your best work is a light pack. So he he's reinforcing the idea that don't get misconstrued what I said. Bang. I'm really like that. Your best work a light pack. They Prince live outlive Mike Jack. Mm. What? That's Come battle mode. mode. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Yeah, he said, for all your, he said, bang, for all your, bang. He said, for all your dogs getting buried, that's a cable all these. Now nah, he going to see that. Oh, my God. This shit crazy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. So crazy. This shit is crazy, hey. bro. Hey, let me tell you something, big fan, Breeze. Let me tell you something. Uh, you, see, you see the power that he got, right, after that burst. This dude, J. Cole, he took a minute on that mixtape. He had to drop a whole mixtape for this nigga off of one verse. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. Nah, he was working on that mixtape before that verse. Probably, probably so. But <laughs> but, but, the, but but I know he did I know add he, that song to the mixtape. Mm -hmm. So so did he diss Kendrick on one song, or it was like he he went on his uh went at his neck a couple songs or something. Or was it just one um, track? Who you talking about, J. Cole? Yeah, J. Cole. Um, you talking about, um, well, I'm talking the about the to Kendrick. Was it like multiple track. songs? Yeah, I gotta listen to it. Uh, I only heard nah. one song well, out, it, of again, that, was, out of that um, mixtape. Right, right. So, right, right, right. That's the thing. It's only a response to the last like that verse. It's that. It's that. That's the only thing I'm pulling up. I, I, oh, okay, subs, okay. That is stuff that he might have said. Um, I don't, I don't know, you know what I mean. But I know this is direct to okay. the verse that he put. Did you hear this yet? No, nah, I didn't hear that song yet. I didn't get to that. All yet. right, so we we fit, we fit, we fit to read the the lyrics to it. Know what right, let's let's get it. Word, tap the like button, y'all, yeah, man. It's, it's breezy and so uh, uh so crazy TV in the building, man. Um, Jason the kid said Brooklyn. Yeah, we out here, man. After the earthquake, man. You live after the earthquake. We we still we still alive after I'm still alive. I'm still alive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Facts. Earthquake happened. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. So shout shout to the earthquake. I guess the earth is gonna quake when it wants to, but I'm glad we still alive, you know what I mean? Um, so J. Cole, he said light work, it's like is PWC. So I guess he felt some type of way. But he mm -hmm. wasn't even talking about um J. Cole when he said light work. But maybe he took it that way. Like, you're talking to both of us. <laughs> He's just talking to me. I think he's talking to both of us. Um, So hold on. He said light work. Like, it's PWC. It's a cold world. Keep that heat under the seat. I got a phone call. They saying that somebody dissing. You want some attention? It come with extensions. My dog like say the word. He on bullshit. He itching. Don't put in so much work in these streets. He got pension. I told him chill out. How I have how I look having henchmen. If shots get to popping, I'm the one doing the clinching. Okay, so basically, J. Cole saying, I don't need Drake or nobody else to do this work for me. This is the work I put in. I'm putting in the work, right? That's the chorus. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. So first one, he goes, I came up in the village. J. Cole's, this is J. Cole verse response to like that. If y'all ain't knowing the chat, if y'all just pulling up. Uh, J. Cole says, I came in the village, so I'm good with its tension. He's still doing shows, but fell off like the Simpsons. Oh, Okay. I'm woke. I'm yeah. woke. Somebody he's woke speaking, me up. He's speaking on that five-year hiatus Kendrick went on. Okay. Go, go, go ahead. Speak to that, though, So Crazy TV. I right, no, no. I mean, we going to get to the verse. We going to... Yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah. Go ahead. Do you, do you. All right, hold on. All right, hold on. All right, so 
but that but you said it you said enough right there that he's speaking you know exactly what he did he's speaking mm-hmm. right there so basically can he like how could you be coming at me kendrick i'm out here i'm in a field i'm, I'm consistent so why yeah. are you coming at me you looking for attention so he already set him up that was like the jab jab hook mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying let so me, let me say this real quick the, after, after you yeah go ahead go ahead go ahead so we talking man. bro we talking. bro so so uh i ain't gonna lie cole was consistent all right after after that album damn drop he took a hiatus right he ain't make no music other than that uh the black panther album he he did a couple songs on there or whatever but i mean we we haven't heard any new music from him until he was on that uh song with uh family ties right yeah yeah man he's speaking on the hiatus man. i give cole that man he he was consistent I give yeah. him that. Oh, hold on. Jackson is cool in the comments. Just broke something down for me. You remember when uh, he says K equals Kendrick, a 10 among other, amongst a bunch of nines, um, Drake and Cole, K and nine like dogs, and K were all these nines because he got a bigger gun. This shit is foul. It's basically like he's saying that bar with Kendrick is speaking on uh the pet cemetery he said k and all these nines he's saying mm. that he's k because he do refer to himself as k dot so he's Thanks. a 10 he k, a k so he's referring to himself as the best he said but amongst a bunch of nines like drake and cole they nines but but then he says for all his dogs they're going so that's like a double entendre kind yeah of that's life. a double entendre you basically saying, <laughs> you know he, saying he's basically saying he's the best and i'm the big dog with the bigger gun type shit. that's basically what he's saying that's tough we're gonna get back yes. to j cole verse but we just be talking shout to so crazy tv subscribe to his page so uh put your link in the chat so so crazy tv um right, for sure appreciate you Word, it's all goody. He goes, uh, the your first shit was classic, your last shit was tragic, your second shit put niggas to sleep, but they gassed it. Your third shit was massive, and that's was your prime. I was trailing right behind, and I just know and just now hit mine. Now I'm in front of the line with a comfortable weed. How ironic soon as I got it. Now he wants something with me. That was, that was nice. That was nice. He said, well, he caught me at the perfect time. Jump, jump up and see. Boy, I got here off a of bars. Not no controversy. Oh! Letting him know he's standing on his square. I got here off bars. I ain't need no beef to elevate my career. I'm listening. Mm. Then he goes, funny thing about it, bitch. I don't, oh, pardon my language. He said, funny thing about it, I don't even want the prestige. Fuck the Grammys because them crackers ain't never done nothing for me. Ho. Slugs took my nigga's soul. Drugs took another one. The rap beef ain't realer than the shit I seen in Cumberland. He averaged it one hard verse like every 30 months or something. If, if he wasn't dissing, then we wouldn't be discussing them. Lord. He asking the Lord. So crazy. He said, that's, that's, that's crazy, man. <laughs> he said, don't make me have to smoke this because I fuck with him. But uh-huh. push from the shove on the mic, I will humble him. I'm Nino with this thing. This that new Jack City meme. Yeah, I'm aiming at G Money, crying tears before I bust at him. What? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Cold spin right now. Cold spin. Yeah, right I right, so so that's the verse before we get to the to the next verse or the chorus. Talk to me man, about that verse so crazy TV. What you thought so, about the first verse in the response? Man, so he's speaking on the hiatus. He basically saying that this dude took a break, right? I'm I'm more consistent than this dude. And then he's saying, um, all you do is hype up your diss tracks. That's that's really all you got. You know, mm. that's basically what he's telling Kendrick right now. Mm. And he's taking, he's telling him, don't take me lightly because I'll smoke you too. Mm. Let's get yeah. to that specific <laughs> bar. That he said, Lord, don't make me have to smoke this N word because I fuck with him. But push him to shove on this mic, I will humble him. That's, that's pretty direct. That's yeah, pretty he, direct. That's basically saying, like, be, he, he, he acts. 
he went to the higher power, asked the mm -hmm. rap gods to tell Kendrick not to play with him because he will humble him. And you know, Kendrick had the song Humble. Yeah. Yo, I think some of these rap, I think Kendrick and J. Cole should jump on each other beats for the culture. J. Cole yeah. need to jump on Humble. K. Dot need to jump on Middle Child or whatever. Yeah. Like, something. They, you know what I'm saying? They got to do something. They got to they gotta do a mixtape or something, man. The culture need that. Yeah, we do, man. Summertime coming too. The perfect timing. Thanks. Perfect timing. Um, New York Nets, he agreed me in the comments. He said, facts, Breezy. That's what we need, man. Hashtag tweet. They need to jump on each other's beats. Even if even if they not a team, they just not they any of they coming at each other. J. Cole, jump on humble. You know what I'm saying? Jump on, jump on humble, man. K dot. What would I want to see K dot jump on a, a, a verse? Probably first person shooter. I love to yeah. hit Kendrick on first person shooter. That'd be crazy. Facts. Facts. Would that be crazy? So crazy. He jump that, on that. that. That'd be crazy. He jump on that. I want to. I want to hear. Um, I want to hear uh, Cole on uh, Family Ties or something. Hmm. Okay. That'd be nice. All right. But yeah, All they right. they got to make some music, man. They they've been lying to us for years, man. Hmm. We yeah, need no, no, something. No. But but Kendrick definitely is the one that went forward to put his best foot forward to to get it popping. Get, you, yeah, again, true. it's one thing to take the high road. Taking the high road, I think Kendrick did enough to make sure they can't take the high road. If they try to look, this the summer they ain't even come yet. Could you imagine this whole summer happening? How comfortable it's gonna be for Drake or Jake or just Drake now? Because Jake Cole responded. If Drake don't respond this summer with something, bro, then mm -hmm. I, they they they're not gonna respect him the same way as a hip hop. Yeah, head. but look we, at this though. Like his fans are mostly female, so. He mm -hmm. he he not gonna lose fans no matter what, you know. What no, I'm no, saying? no. But that's what I'm saying. The the culture is still gonna love him because of what you said and the music that he makes. Right. But when you talk about pens and like who's the top lyricist and who putting bars together better, yeah, he's he not gonna be that top one or two. They're not gonna. He's not gonna. Because right. if you think about the, the the attributes to to what an uh, artist is, that's one of them. It's not all of them, but it's one of the mm -hmm. elements of hip hop. It's the pen. Facts, but he don't write his music. Big fan breezy, right? <laughs> he right. don't. He so, don't write. So it's like he gonna he gonna have to look for another ghostwriter to to speak for him again. Yeah, I'm just saying, man. I no, fuck no, with no. Drake though. I fuck with Drake, but I but I always put him under. These two, he he got to be under these two. He can't yeah, be no. ahead of us. Yeah, the Ghost Rider is helping him. It, it takes the um the lyricist side. You shy, I shy away from calling him a lyricist, even though I think he got good lyrics. But it, yeah. I will always question: Is he writing these lyrics after that? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I call but, him um, a pop artist, man. He a pop right, artist. right. He's he's that. He's definitely a pop artist. Um, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stick with you on. I pause. I gotta stay with you on that. Um, so this is this is can he the, the, the I'm I'm not gonna do the chorus again. Y'all heard the chorus in the beginning. Thanks. Um I'm gonna skip the chorus. This is verse two um of J. Cole's response to like that for, for Kendrick Lamar. He goes, I got mixed J. Cole goes, I got mixed feelings about these these effing rap in words. It's over for that cat. We official cat pillars. He says over for that cat, we official cat pillars. Two six, we don't we don't act. He said two six. We don't act in words. We now nah, I'm gonna just say it. he said two six. We don't act niggas. We get at niggas. That's tough. He's he's mm -hmm. talking about tweets. We don't act niggas. We get at niggas. That was tough. Just that I, I like <laughs> that. You know what I'm saying? Like I like yeah. it. Gotta be all wordy and lyrically, like lyrically super duper lyrically all the time. I just like the, the straight at because it's a battle rap mode. So he, he went straight at him with that. I thought that was tough. That's a tough bar. Don't underestimate that bar. Because mm -hmm. remember Drake said um, Twitter fingers can trigger fingers turn to Twitter fingers. And that's right, to right. Me, like that same energy is the two six. We don't act niggas. We get at niggas. Like, that's tough. That's mm -hmm. tough. It is. Word. So so um, he goes, J. Cole goes, shoot it. He said, shoot it in the lights out. Yeah, my dog stat fillers, stat stuff is triple double. Get your ass black duffel body bag.
Body bag, body bag, cold warrior, instructive for Pilates class. Getting stretched if I feel the disrespect. Uh, your arms might be too short to box with the guy. And I heard somebody say this. This is funny because Kendrick Lamar is like five some, and J. Cole is about six four. So I, I thought it was funny that he took a shot at him about his height. Um, he said, your arms might be too short to box with the guy who lived his life without the pressures of a constant facade. I pray for peace. But if it deceased these positive vibes, I falcon nine inside my pocket. Bitch, the rocket gonna fly. Now it's popping outside like the top of July. My text flooded with a hunger for a toxic reply. I'm hesitant. I love my brother, but I'm not gonna lie. See? Again, when you, again, this is the this is tricky, so crazy to you. It, it is Very tricky, true. man. Right, he's, still, he goes, he's still showing that that's his brother, but he said, I'm a, I will end you, bro. <laughs> he's right, so, telling him. <laughs> right. So hold on. This is two warnings. They, hold on. There's two warnings so far, right? So he said, I pray for peace, but if he said, but if the N-word sees the positive vibes, I falcon nine inside my pocket, bitch. This rocket gonna fly. And now it's popping outside like the top of July. My text flooded with hunger for a toxic reply. I'm hesitant. I love my brother, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm powered up for real. That shit would feel like swatting a fly. So you powered up, but you look at Kendrick Lamar like a fly. And he, he, know, he's man. charged up. This is this is what Leaf Diggy said. This was mid, bro. That's crazy. I don't know. Man, I, he's I don't charged know up. I heard this song. He didn't even hear the song to say it was mid or not. He was talking about something else. He had to be talking That's about crazy. something else. Maybe yeah, it were. Hold on. Shout out to Leaf, but I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, you got to pull up to explain this. Uh, then he goes, four hours in 12 years. Nigga, I can divide shit if if this is what you want, I'm dodge, I'm I'm indulging in violence. Put pictures in my homie, aim the chrome at your eyelids. What? Put, mm. put pictures in my he said, put pictures in my home, aim the chrome at your eyelids, fly pebbles at your dome. We the stone temple pilots. This is merely a warning shot to back niggas down. But back in the town where they whipping work and trafficking pounds, my Jack jumping by the rapper making blasphemous sounds. He's saying that his words are blasphemous. They're yes. not even, he's, he's not even speaking on my name with correct uh, 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 bars. Mm -hmm. He's blasphemous. not coming correct type shit. Right, right. So then he says, then he says, my Jack jumping by the rapper, making blasphemous sounds, switching sides like the tassel and the cap and the gown. So he basically saying like, yo, you know, I had your back, but now you just switching. So you ever see the tassel on the, on the, on the cap mm -hmm. of a cap and a gown? It, it do like yeah. go back and forth all over. You know what I'm saying? So Thanks. then he said, I'm fully loaded. I could drop two classics right now. So again, even though he said it's a warning shot, he basically saying, regardless of what you put, I'm too consistent for you to keep up with me. That's that basically. This is, a, this, this is a warning. Like, I think J. Cole, I, I, I give him more credit than I did last night because I think J. Cole approach was, I could continue to do this. You drop one song and think I'm going to go away. I ain't Drake. I ain't these other rappers. I ain't going to go. No disrespect to Drake. But yeah. I ain't gonna go away after one song. Yeah. You gonna make this song? You gonna keep coming at me, and then I'm gonna just go at you. Like he, he was saying, like I'm just letting you know I'm aware that you came at me, but you right. missed. It is that's what it feel like. It feel like J Cole right. is saying you missed because you're not consistent enough. I'm doing you the favor, not going at you for not being consistent. Right. Mm, that's so a, that's, that's know, a fact. Man. That's a fact, man. And then he said, "You my brother. I'm trying to spare you." He's he's giving him a warning, man. Yeah, he's giving him a warning. He called out how he's not consistent. Four albums in twelve years. Yeah. That's crazy, man. I'm glad he yeah. responded, man, and yeah. like that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. No, I think this was solid. He did it the same way Kendrick Lamar did it. It was like a late night on a Thursday or Friday. Like, yo, this shit dropped like one in the morning. Like, almost yeah, in the morning, yo, and that's why I only heard one song, man. I gotta hear the whole album, though. Oh, no, nah, I've, 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 I've been hearing, I, I've been hearing different um songs on a mixtape of uh, uh, Mike Delee later, yeah, yeah. I think you probably you'll enjoy the, the whole mixtape, so crazy TV. 
For sure, man. Hey, big fan Breezy. I appreciate you, man, for putting for getting me on the show. Appreciate you, man. Keep doing your thing, man. For sure. Yeah, nah, we here, man. Yeah. Um, this was dope doing the uh, re pre uh, the, uh, hopefully you pull up for the next response or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you, man. Hit up the Discord, man. We be cooking in there, man. Okay, I, I I'm a, I'm in the Discord still. I'm a, I'm gonna jump in the uh, Discord. Yeah, for sure, man. But y'all be easy, man. Appreciate y'all, man. For sure. I appreciate you so crazy, so crazy. You too. Yo, subscribe, subscribe to uh his page, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, he he'll 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 be back hopefully. Yeah, uh, for man. sure. I got you, man. I'm gonna tune in to you for sure. I appreciate you. Man. I won. I won. Were um yeah. So there you have it, man. You know, I don't. How does this chat feel about the Kendrick uh J Cole's response to Kendrick Lamar? How do y'all feel about it? You know what I'm saying? I thought it. I thought it was. I thought it was dope. You know what I mean? I thought it was dope. But uh, yeah, no, I I I, I enjoyed that, man. And if I, I I ain't gonna lie, that karaoke shit, I'll be getting hype reading that shit. I'm gonna probably do more of these recapping. I'm a I'm re, I'm gonna recap the whole the whole way through. If they the whole way through, I don't know the next time this song gonna drop. But the fact that J. Cole mixtape dropped too, I want to hear that too. Maybe he got excuse me, another song he did on there about a response. But I know this was a a, a direct response to that beat. Word. Um oh, and it's a mixtape, the fall off on the way, too. See? The fall off on the way. It's the mixtape before the album, which is fire. I mean, I still got time. You know what I'm saying? I got a mixtape and I got a I got a I got an album coming out, but I I'm still doing this. You know what I'm saying? Don't think that I'm I'm done. You know, this is just part of what I do. You know, you need this. Like he 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 talking his shit to Jake Kendrick Lamar, bro. Like, this is your comeback. Your comeback is to get at me. This is this is part of my my my. This is just a, another day in the office for me, and I think that's where J Cole. That's where J Cole might have an edge on 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 Kendrick Lamar. This is just another day in the office for me. You you K dot you coming back and you you need to start with this. This is just part of what I do. So it's 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 gonna be interesting to to see what, what happens next. Um New York Nets said peace, peace guys. This beef shit is dumb. Um I I like I don't like the making it a physical real if they see each other is real beef. Nah, as far as I would want to see this go, New York Nets. Is some actually on a battle rap stage, like Smack, rapping a versus acapella, or rapping a versus on a beat. I would love that if Smack could put that together. I would love that. Could Kendrick Lamar and J Cole? Get on a stage, a battle rap stage, and rap the same verses in front of each other. Or if it ain't the same verse, just a verse. Word. New York Nets said Ken and Ryu type shit. Hell yeah, man. Hell, yo, exactly, man. Exactly. This is this is this is exactly what I'm talking about. Yo, yeah, this, I think this is we should expect this this summer will be well hip hop music this year will forever be remembered, man. Music, I mean, you remember music every year, but this this year for hip hop, the fan, I think the fans are going. If there's no real balance behind it, like I don't really want to see them get in a fight. I, I don't want to see that. If they really just going to spit bars and just, you know, keep it music, we win. 
the, the fans win. That's a fact. But, you know, I'm going to get into more of this when the guys pull back up. I, I just wanted to um, um, do the verse with y'all because, you know, I don't want to, I, I like hearing other opinions about it because a bias or favoritism. Or for, or for the first listen, I gave it to Kendrick Lamar. And I listen to that song like every day. You know what I'm saying? But this, I think I'm going to have it on the playback. Like, I'm going to make sure that the Kendrick Lamar verse, and then the next verse is this verse. So I could I could hear the, you know what I'm saying? Something that I might have missed before. Um, New York Nets said, problem is fans hype shit up and then things get personal. Um, no, nah, I think Jay Cole is a little smarter than that. You know, but you're right about the fans being able to, to gas it up. Um, that being said, he's it, it, J. Cole addresses that. He said something about a toxic reply. He said, My he said, My text, see, he said, My now it's popping outside like a top of July. My text flooded with the hunger for a toxic reply. I'm hesitant. I love my brother, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm powered up for real. That shit will feel like swatting the fly. So basically, the toxic, like he, the, the that's what the the toxic reply. J Cole is ready for that. He know the fans are gonna be on it like that. But I think he's a smart enough rapper. I think he's a wise enough rapper where he can be in in front of that, pretty much knowing what to do without the influence of fans in a toxic way make the best decision for hip hop for the culture opposed to getting lost in the moment um so yeah uh i agree with you it is disgusting man we see what happened with biggie with pop with, with other rap beefs that went bad very bad so you know what i mean i really i really agree i, I you got to think of that um but I don't, I don't want that to happen, bro. I'm not entertained by that shit. And to be honest, if it if it spills over nasty like that, I'm going to, I, I, even if I do it for content, I'm going to view it a different way and, and speak on it in a different way because life is real and life is serious. And the lifespan in the in the hip hop game is sometimes short lived. There's a lot of people, you know what I mean, who lost their life to to, to violence. And I don't want to see that. I want them to keep it right. Um, Kendrick Lamar, I mean, <laughs> New York Nets, say Kendrick gang affiliate. Yeah, maybe. Allegedly. New York Nets say we can't speak on how them cats feel about it. Yeah, I guess. Um, But we'll we'll get to more of that another time. You know what I'm saying? Um, Now, another part of the show that I wanted to talk about, switching things up a little bit, Hopefully, hold on, New York Nets. I hope you're good. I hope you're good. You in New York, then I hope you're good because of the earthquake. Are you good because of the earthquake? Everybody who felt that earthquake, let me know. I'm not going to say much on it because I was outside when it happened, and I ain't feel it. I didn't even know an earthquake happened. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to speak on that much, but if y'all want to pull up and talk about the earthquake, tell me about it. You know what I mean? Talk to me. Um... Yeah, so Ice Cube offers. I, I'll get to this again, cause I ain't I ain't say much to it. But let's get the facts straight. Ice Cube offers Caitlyn Clark the Caitlyn Clark the bag. Um. Oh, okay. So she didn't even answer the questions. They asked her about it and she deflected the, the questions. Ice Cube confirmed on Wednesday that he, okay. What? 10? Reporting she will only need to play 10 games? Wow. Yo, Ice Cube is applying pressure. That's pressure on the WNBA, yo. Nah, serious. That's real pressure, yo. 
Kaylin Clark, big three offer. Why Ice Cube extended five million over overture to Iowa Star? Uh, let's get through this. The path forward for Kaylin Clark is set. Uh, once Iowa season ends, which Clark is hoping won't be until the national championship game, the Hawkeye Star will await her anticipated selection by the Indiana Fever in April WNBA draft. It is that simple, though. Is it that simple, though? Ice Cube wants to give Clark – and hold on. Let me give a shout-out to the page and who wrote this. Shout-out to Dan Treacy um, from the Sporting News. This is his article. Shout-out to you. Um, he's, He goes on to say, could Clark actually suit up for the, in the big three? Or is Ice Cube just looking to generate headlines with the offer? Mm, that's another business strategy about Ice Cube. That's smart just doing that. It shows that you know a potential basketball players, yo, he got some money to throw around. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we need to maybe we need to be doing business with Ice Cube. Um Caitlin Clark Big Three offer explained. Ice Cube confirmed on Wednesday that the Big Three offered Clark five million to join the league. She will only need to play 10 games, eight regular season games, and two playoff games. Five million for ten games? Wow! Wow! What? 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 Could, wow! What could I say to that? Wow! Where's Wow? I wish Wow was here to 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 speak on this. I should tweet Wow. I'm gonna tweet Wow. If y'all know Wow, she got good content. I'm gonna tweet her. Hopefully, we could get her on here to help me out talk about this. But five million. For ten games, eight play, play regular season games, and two, and two playoff games, five million dollars. And you're gonna look. What, so, what was the reply? Hold on. Someone said Kendrick and Cole are having a link to Hughes off from crying. That's funny. This is this sound, I gotta pause this whole comment. This this comment just sounds like a pause. He said, I'm not even gonna say it. This is a pause comment. This ain't a super chat. I ain't gonna say this comment. This this is a pause though, Lee Brim. Shout out to Lee Brim. Um oh man. We're gonna get to that part of the show again too, uh later, Lee Brim. Um, we talking about the big three now. So again, to the to the article it goes big three made a historic offer to keenan clark why wouldn't we this is ice cube saying this i imagine uh caitlin is a generational athlete a generational athlete who can achieve tremendous success in the big three ice cube tweeted wednesday adding that he didn't intend for the offer to become public while clark was still playing in the ncaa tournament American women athletes should not be forced to spend their off seasons in often dismal and dubious foreign countries just to make ends meet, Ice Cube said, referencing the reality that many WNBA players choose to play internationally during the offseason because of lower WNBA salaries. That dynamic gained attention with Brittany Griner was when Brittany Griner was arrested after playing in the Russia Premier League in 2022. Hmm. So Ice Cube in a tweet says, this is last week, we intended the offer to remain private while Kaylin Clark plays for the championship, but I won't deny what's now already out there. Big Three made a historic offer to Kaylin Clark. Why wouldn't we? And then, you know, I would just write that. Uh, he says that she could, he, he thinks Kaylin Clark is a generational athlete who could achieve tremendous success playing basketball. In the big three. Wow. Um, Ice Cube tweets, the skeptics laughed when we made Nancy Lieberman the first female coach of a men's pro team and she won the championship her first year. Then Lisa Leslie won it all in year two with, with our offer. Kaylin Clark can make history and break down even more barriers for women. This is a smooth angle, Ice Cube. I can't lie. You got women hooping and they coaching. You got them coaching already. So this is very interesting because when you think about the IQ of basketball 
and you got women coaches winning championships says a lot it says a lot i, I like it. I, this w ice cube yo w ice cube uh she might New York Nets says she might as well take the money and join the 2020 NWNBA draft. That's a yo, New York Nets. This is a wise idea. He said, Who would all right? Come on, Blake Bremer. Like, stop it, bro. A three point contest with Wild for the Clock. Come on, man. Stop that. That's that Celtic fan stuff you're talking about, man. Come on, man. New York Nets says she might as well take the money. This is the smartest shit I've seen. This is smart. Why she don't do that? Yo, New York Nets, I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. This is exactly what, what he should do. Um, I'm gonna offer up on that plan. I know the big three paying the same time y'all did. Kaylin Clark on the offer. This is Kaylin Clark's response to the big three. Kaylin Clark on the offer of five million to play in the big three. I found out about the big three thing the same time y'all did. She ain't say no, she ain't say yes, but she ain't say no. So we are gonna see what she decides to do. Um, and for you guys that don't know, I'll read it. It said, "What is the Big Three? The Big Three is a basketball league founded by rapper and actor Ice Cube in 2017. Six years, right? The league separates itself from most other by playing three-on-three -three basketball along with various different rules that aren't in place at the NBA or college level." The Big Three began with eight teams when it launched and now has 12 teams, all of which have former NBA players on their rosters. Former NBA players on their rosters. Hear that. I need y'all to hear that. Captains from the 2023 season included Joe Johnson, Jason Richardson, Nick Young, Gerald, Gerald Green, and Michael Beasley. The Big Three also features some big-name coaches, including Gilbert Arenas, Gary Payton, Julius Irvin, and Steven Jackson. See, I'm interested now because Julius Urban is a coach of one of these teams. You know, he used to play for the Nets. So the New York Nets, shot the New York Nets. So now I I, I want to look into it. I absolutely want to look into it. Um, as Ice Cube mentioned, women already have some involvement in the big three with former WNBA stars Nancy Lieberman and Lisa Leslie, both active head coaches. Clark, however, would be the league's first female player if – she accepted the offer. Now, this is what the article says about her playing in the big three. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Said so, there's no indication Clark is considering accepting the big three's offer, and it's not entirely clear whether the WNBA will allow her to play in both leagues regardless. A $5 million offer is worth substantially more than what Clark is set to make in her WNBA rookie season. Clark is in line to make just over 76000 as a rookie if she is selected first overall as expected, which is only a fraction of the Big 3 offer. At the same time, Clark will still be able to make plenty of money through her numerous endorsement deals that might not make the hassle of juggling a Big 3 with the WNBA worthwhile, if it is even a consideration for Clark. Clark has not yet commented on whether or not she will accept the off accept about the big three's offer. So there you have it, folks. You know what I'm saying? Clayton and Clark, she said, you got five million dollars. I'ma think about it. Maybe I will. Maybe I say yes. I mean, I honest, I, I gotta be tough to say hard, say no to five million dollars. I say no to pork. I say no. To food I don't want to eat. I say no. Sometimes I ain't even giving up my seat. I say no to 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 onions. When they ask me, do I want these onions when I go to the restaurant? I'm like, nah, I don't want those onions. But five million dollars? I don't know how to say. I'm not gonna say I don't know how to say no to five million dollars. But for 10 basketball games, 10 basketball games? Only 10. Only 10. 
But yeah, man, I just wanted to pull up and you know what I'm saying, talk to speak my piece. Shout to uh So Crazy TV and Lee for joining the panel with me. Shout to the whole chat, shout to Leek Brema. He, he a Celtic fan, but shout to him, shout to New York Nets. You know what I'm saying? Shout to Urban K, shout to Leaf once again, shout to Jason the Kid, shout to Brock Work. You know, shout to Jackson is cool, man. Shout to Thomas F, man. I really hope y'all hitting the like button and subscribing. I appreciate it. Shout out to Claude Smith, man. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, man. I hope I ain't miss anybody. Urban K, did I say Urban K? That's my guy. Shout out to Iceman, the Eskimo. Uh, shout out to Quake Cool Ghana. Shout out to Jack City for the super chat. Um all oh, y'all, yeah, man. But y'all yeah, know I feel Nets fans is the best fans, man. But all oh, y'all. Yeah. Uh yeah, man. Um oh shout out to Reholler 88. Um I'm a skedaddle, man. I'm a I'm a you know playing and win. And uh again, man, thank y'all for tuning in. Shout out to JP Folly. You know, shout out to all oh, y'all. Yeah. And I'll probably be back later, especially if it's a K dot response. But, you know, I wanted to say thank y'all for tuning in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> New York Nets said, yo, Breezy, our season is over, but you still the bro, honey. Now, I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate y'all supporting the page. Um, and, yeah, man, I'm going to have some more content. I'm going to try. I might try to cover the big three. I'm going to recap the games. We don't play until tomorrow, but I'm going to recap that game even though it don't matter. So, if y'all pull up, that'd be great. Um. Yeah, man, because, you know, we we, we going to get through it until we get to it. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get through it until we get to it. Uh, But, yeah, man, I appreciate y'all. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to catch y'all on, uh, on the rebound. Later, y'all. Peace. It's my time, man. You watch me like a can, cause it's my time switch. They can't go me, especially side the Barclays. It's been twin crosses, I can score with both hands. Many flawless, and I get to paint like an artist. I'm a ball smith, so you should respect my handle. I see the big picture with the nets like a mantle. In the future, I see us in Shamsu, and when we do, I'ma do a Brooklyn dance move. The third and call Millie Rock like a fan do. That's a bet like my parlay on FanDuel. B-R-O-O-K-L-Y-N-B-R-O-O-K-L-Y-N-B-R-O-O-K-L-Y-N-B-R-O-O-K-L-Y-N-B-R-O-O-K-L-Y-N-B-R